Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. Fossil fuels or mineral fuels are fuels formed by the natural resources such as anaerobic decomposition of buried dead organisms that lived up to 300 million years ago. These fuels contain high percentage of carbon and hydrocarbons. Fossil fuels range from volatile materials with low carbon coal and hydrogen ratios like methane to liquid petroleum to non-volatile materials composed of almost pure carbon, like anthracite coal. Methane can be found in hydrocarbon fields, alone, associated with oil, or in the form of methane clathrates. It is generally accepted that they formed from the fossilized remains of dead plants and animals by exposure to heat and pressure in the Earth's crust over hundreds of millions of years. This biogenic theory was first introduced by George Agricola in 1556 and later by Mikhail Lomonosov in the 18th century. Fossil fuels are formed by the anaerobic decomposition of remains of organisms including phytoplankton and zooplankton that settled to the sea, or lake, bottom in large quantities under anoxic conditions, millions of years ago, over geological time. This organic matter, mixed with mud, got buried under heavy layers of sediment. The resulting high levels of heat and pressure caused the organic matter to chemically alter, first into a waxy material known as kerogen which is found in oil shales, and then with more heat into liquid and gaseous hydrocarbons in a process known as catogenesis. Fossil fuels are of great importance because they can be burned oxidized to carbon dioxide and water, producing significant amounts of energy. The use of coal as a fuel predates recorded history. Coal was used to run furnaces for the melting of metal ore. Semi-solid hydrocarbons from seeps were also burned in ancient times, but these materials were mostly used for waterproofing and embalming. Commercial exploitation of petroleum largely is a replacement for oils from animal sources, notably whale oil, for use in oil lamps began in the 19th century. Natural gas, once flared off as an unneeded byproduct of petroleum production, is now considered a very valuable resource. Heavy crude oil, which is much more viscous than conventional crude oil, and tar sands where bitumen is found mixed with sand and clay, are becoming more important as sources of fossil fuel. Oil shale and similar materials are sedimentary rocks containing kerogen, a complex mixture of high molecular weight organic compounds, which yield synthetic crude oil when heated, pyrolyzed. These materials have yet to be exploited commercially. These fuels are employed in internal combustion engines fossil fuel power stations and other uses. Prior to the latter half of the 18th century, windmills or watermills provided the energy needed for industry such as milling flour, sawing wood or pumping water, and burning wood or peat provided domestic heat. The wide-scale use of fossil fuels, coal at first and petroleum later, to fire steam engines, enabled the Industrial Revolution. At the same time, gas lights using natural gas or coal gas were coming into wide use. The invention of the internal combustion engine and its use in automobiles and trucks greatly increased the demand for gasoline and diesel oil, both made from fossil fuels. Other forms of transportation, railways and aircraft also required fossil fuels. The other major use for fossil fuels is in generating electricity in the petrochemical industry. Tar, a leftover of petroleum extraction, is used in construction of roads. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.